Yo, yo, yo. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Saturday Night Dynamic Forces Comic Collectibles. I want to welcome all of the experienced regulars who are coming and tuning in tonight. And I want to welcome all the new collectible fans, including the Gem Mick collectible fans. And we have Gem himself as a special guest. And because he's here as a special guest, we have bonuses for everybody in honor of Jem. So without further ado, Jerry, please bring the man in. Let's say hi. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, Nick? What's going on, man? So you got me and Rex. Hey. What's going on, Rex? How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Doing we got great, Jerry you. behind the scenes with a little bit of uh, Kyle Love. We got <laughs> comic collectibles. Everything from Silver Age FF and Spider-Man, a little bit of Golden Age when it comes to Captain Marvel Adventures. I got to do something about these lights. <laughs> and we got signed books, DF collectibles. We have Venom 200, the hottest book out this week. We've got Nice House on the Lake, second week in a row hottest book. Nice. Now, for all you guys that uh, show up every week, you guys know that Usually, we may do six items an hour. We take our time. We chill. We talk through everything. But you know what? Tonight, we're going to try something different. Tonight, we're going to go a little bit faster through everything. We're here if you have questions, but we're going to try and go through everything. Real quick, old man Nick's got to get closer to everything. I want to say, hey, Ronald, how are you? Josh Phelps, good to see you again, or good for you to see us again, I should say. <laughs> uh, you know, Jen, you're doing us the honor of being here. So I really want to ask, first, I want to thank you greatly. It's really of awesome. Course. Jem's one of the nicest guys in the business. I've said this before. He is one of the best ambassadors of comics this industry has. He has a freaking fantastic YouTube channel that everybody should check out. Jem Mint Collectibles. He has one of the best channels. He's going on to 125,000 subscribers. And it's because he is such a positive guy, such a positive influence talks about all the good stuff that goes into comics. And he's got some great friends from Very Gary and Matt Forge and uh, Jay. And you've got uh, Comic Tom and so many other great guys. And I'm yep. going to say a few more things and then shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shut the front door. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've done a couple of Indiegogo campaigns together. The first yep. one with our boy Ken Hazer. And then the second one with his daughter Jade Hope, which blew away all expectations. But after seeing the art, there would have been no doubt about it. Man, hell of an intro. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, Nick. Yeah, the campaigns were great. And I, I see a lot of collectors receiving their signed uh, Vampirella ones, too, by, uh, that are signed by Ken. So that's cool to see those coming in. I know CGC was a little backlogged or what have you, but those are coming in. And yeah, man, the Red Sony cover, man, appreciate that opportunity to get her first published artwork out there. And uh, her head's so big, it's hard to get her through the door now, but uh, uh, it was worth it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. Matter of fact, we were so pleased with this. We'll announce this publicly first. Jade is actually going to do a cover to one of our monthly books now. Mm -hmm. So we will probably do another Indiegogo campaign. We just want everybody to get the first campaign before we do another one. And yeah. we also have a really special campaign getting ready to launch with Jay Lee. So that'll be sometime in the middle of July. Because right now, my man Jem here teamed up with Comic Tom with a box, his first co-box, Mm -hmm. And it has the boys in it. You want to talk about that for a minute while yeah. we have a sip from our sponsor? I yeah. <laughs> no, and you mentioned Comic Tom earlier. I mean, he's been crushing with his mystery mail call. He he sends you out comics, and he has his own exclusive variants. The July box happens to be the first joint exclusive with me and him for uh, a Ben Temple Smith, the boys number one exclusive. So uh, a, an exclusive variant for a reprint of the iconic Garth Ennis, the boys and uh, it looks awesome. Homelander looks super creepy, and you can only get that through Comic Tom 101 through his mystery mail call box. And you got to hurry up and sign up because he doesn't have many slots left. No, nah, man, and we're promoting it. We're getting tremendous feedback on it. I want to throw out one more kudos 
for Jem, you know, and we had a free giveaway tonight. We've been doing a free giveaway with every show, and we were trying to figure it out, and we had something we were going to do. We were going to do a cosplayer card, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but then your boy Dave threw out there that he wants Lucho Perillo. Oh, by the yep. way, Dave, the Gem Crate will be with Jay Lee, and then there's a Comic Tom Crate. So jump on the Comic Tom Crate right now. And then the Jay Lee crate will be in July. Mm -hmm. But because of you, Dave, you got me to change our cosplay promo card to a Lucho Perillo promo card. Check it out. This was only available with Lucho Perillo's Indiegogo campaign. This is now going to be free, one per fan, with every order. And the baller buyer of the night, the person who spends the most money is going to get a $50 Lucho Perillo variant virgin cover. Nice. So, you know, you, you got me to change everything, Dave. I mean, I wanted to do this in honor of Jem. And, <laughs> you know, we actually talked about doing the promo card from Jay, but we were like, you know what? All the fans got to get it first from the Indiegogo campaign. Got to take care of them first. So, I think we need to get right into this. Now, we got a couple of new viewers, so I think we should do something really, really cool. Some people may have seen it on Wednesday. You know, sometimes our shows, they do really well, and then they do even better on repeat. So Rex kind of decided to stick it to Nick on Wednesday. So I say that, sort of. <laughs> sort of, kind of. So he took this MSRP $30 Iron Man, Origin of Iron Man, okay? And we thought, wouldn't it be cool if we gave some bonus items? So the whole idea was, you know, these are all random. You get the DF Limited Edition Greg Land Iron Man cover, right? And then you're going to get nine more random comics. You don't know what they're going to be. Could be some of these. Could be Infinity. Could be Pretty Deadly. Could be BSG. Could be Amazing Spider-Man, could be Justice League United, but basically you're going to get the main book plus nine bonus books for Iron Man number nine, right? And this was The Secret Origin of Tony Stark. Now, there was supposed to be $30 and you get 10 bonus books, which should be about 40 bucks, right? Not bad, right? And I was like, look, Rex, if you, oh, by the way. One thing for the fans who don't know, every DF cover, you see the DF logo there, comes with a DF certificate of authenticity. Mm. Now, this is going to be limited one per customer because of the way Rex set it up. I, I got to give everybody the same value today we gave on Wednesday. So, again, $29.99 book. I was like, look, if you want to go to 1962, the year Tony Stark first appeared in Tales of Suspense, I can live with that, all right? And Rex decided, him and John were here, and they were like, let's have some fun. Nick said we could do 1962, first year Iron Man well, appeared. Kyle was here, too. I'm not and leaving Ky him out. Oh, yeah, Kyle, my main man behind the scenes, he tweaked you along, didn't he? Well, let's say that they, he wanted to do it at $9.99, and I slashed it. Even further to nine. <laughs> so nine dollars for Iron Man number nine, DF exclusive cover. Nine dollars for this. Plus you get nine bonus books. I mean, think about it now. You're getting about. You could be getting. Keep in mind, some of the cover prices may be two ninety nine. Some of them are three ninety nine. Some might be three fifty. But you could be getting up to. $70 worth of comics for $9. Oof, you can't beat that. And then you get the bonus uh, uh, promo card too, right? And then you get the bonus promo card, the Lucho Perillo. So less Dang. than a dollar to get in each comic. Yeah. That was the goal. That was the goal. That cracked me up when they did it. I don't get upset at this stuff. You know, they did it to, to tweak me. And that was fine, you know, because the reality is, is we really, you know, Jem is a great influence. Like I said, um, you know, he Yeah, let's is... blame Jem. No, let's blame Jem in a good way. Jem is a great influence. He's a huge, huge ambassador of the comics industry. 
positive reviews every week. Had a great Loki recap last night that he's doing every Friday. If you're watching us tonight and you've never checked out his channel, check it out. You know, whether you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or our website, go to Gem Mint after the show, not now, after the show, subscribe. And uh, you can check out, he, he just puts together such great content. So our goal here you is should. to bring great items at great prices because we want more readers too. I mean, look, we're not, we're losing money on this. And honestly, I don't care because we're throwing in books that we really enjoy that we feel this is a mighty rare, mighty more for Power Rangers. Again, out of print, amazing Spider-Man, Obama cover. Batman, is this a Capullo issue? Yeah, Batman New 52, Capullo issue. You don't know, the only thing you know you're getting is the Iron Man number nine. Hey, Victoria, how are you? So you're getting the Iron Man number nine for certain, and you're getting nine random books, which is a sweet, sweet deal. Just like a little uh, mystery mail call of your own, but it's only nine books. <laughs> it. I can honestly say it rarely gets better than that. It rarely gets better than that. Um, Victoria, don't know if you saw my post. Uh, we will follow up with you on Monday and, and uh, take care of sending you the invoice. We've been actually really busy with the shows and we're behind on invoicing people because the orders have been coming in very, very well. So I thank everybody for their patience. So, Jim, you got the list. What do you think you want to do next? What, what do we want to show? You want to do Nice House on the left? You want to do Venom? You want to do Key Silver Age? Mm, what, uh, I think we need to save the Silver Age Spider-Man and Fantastic Four just for a little bit. Uh, I think Venom Venom 200 might be the way to go, man. Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman ending their epic run, uh, ending King in Black and, and planting new seeds for the new Venom run that's going to be by Al Ewing and Rom V. Uh, this is a huge oversized cover. It's a trade paperback, basically, right? I think it was a $10 cover price on these. Yep. And then we got the variants. So which variants do we have here? Let's take a look. We got the J. Scott Campbell variant. Yeah, now, you got the Ryan Stegman. Campbell incentive or a regular cover? I can't uh, There are so many covers, and that's a good thing on J. this. J. Scott one. Campbell is a 1 out of 50 ratio. Yeah. All right. Variant. So we got the J. Scott Campbell 1 out of 50. Uh we the Ryan Stegman. We got the Ryan Stegman version. Then you got the Jock the version. Yeah. The Jock is one out of five hundred. Yep. And we brought these in at great prices. What did we end up doing? We said the J. Scott Campbell is going to be fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Pennies count. That's right. Pennies count. Um, you had to order fifty of these. You had to order fifty copies of a ten dollar book. As a retailer, you had to spend you it's five hundred dollars at retail. As a retailer, you had to spend two hundred and fifty dollars. A consumer had to spend five hundred dollars to get this for free. So I like the trade doing? dress on that one too. Isn't it beautiful? And yeah. let's you know what? Let's do the one thing I'm not doing well. <laughs> let's do it like that. Look at that J. Scott Campbell cover. J. Scott Campbell, one of the greats, man, doing Venom on the last uh, the last issue of the run. Yep. Hey, Hino, uh, if you want the bundle, I'll give you all the pricing. Let's make sure that's what you want. Yeah, let's wait to the pricing because it gets expensive with the one out of 500. <laughs> yeah, the one out of 500 we're going to do for four ninety nine ninety nine, and we only have two of these, I think. Yeah, one so, out of 500. So you had to order 500 copies to get it. Yep, you have to. You had to buy five thousand dollars worth of venom as a consumer to get this. So I, it, that is a sick jock cover. This is as great as that Batman cover that everybody loves. You mm -hmm. know, yeah, that beautiful detective. And then we have the man whom we one, one of the team. You know, I consider Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. The Burn Claremont Austin of today, the Perez Marv Wolfman of today. No, they're a great team for sure. Yep. The McMillan Millar of today. The Virgin yeah. Stegman cover. Be easier if I do this. Now, now I don't know. I, I feel like Stegman has been getting better and better. Like ever since he linked up with Donnie doing Venom, I just feel like his stuff has been just hitting the stratosphere every time. Yeah, we did an interview with 
uh, with Stegman when we first launched the channel. And he said he was going to do creator-owned work. He was going to leave Marvel. And then they offered him the opportunity to work with Donnie. And mm. he said he, he and Donnie just start rapping in the room, and they come up with they great click. ideas. So this one is going to be $100. Now, you had to buy 100 then or ninety nine ninety nine. Rex will correct me. Penny's count. Penny's count. You had to buy a hundred of these. That would cost you a thousand dollars to get one of these. We're doing it at ninety nine ninety nine. And don't forget, everybody. Every single person gets a free Lucha Perillo promo card that was only available on Indiegogo. And he know now you got to tell me, did you really want to buy all three? Uh, <laughs> you got to let it know. Shout out to Jay, uh, the butcher at Pressable Defects. Jay's awesome. I love Jay, man. They have a great <laughs> channel too, everybody. Yeah. I got to work on this slate. I, you know, I'm not, I got to, either I got to learn how to fix this stuff or I got to get fired. And then I can have a little bit of a vacation. <laughs> but what did you think of, I mean, is this the book of the week or is this the book of the week? This was my pick of the week. Out of all the books that I read this week, man, uh, this was it. This ended, I think, so well and planted so many new seeds that are going to have people talking for months now, if not more. Uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers in case you haven't read it yet. But these, you know, the book had a lot of variants, but these are those big ratio variants, man. These are those hard to get. Uh, you had like like uh, Nick said, you had to order a ton of these to get them. So this is the way to go. Listen, we ordered a ton which allowed us to bring these to you again look when it comes to the jock virgin we started with four i think we're down to two nice with the j scott with the uh ryan stegman we did start with 20 but i think we're down to 12 and the j scott campbell how many, uh this was one in 50. Yeah. Uh, so what do we start with? We started with 40, but man, these blew through. Everybody wants a J. Scott Campbell. Yeah. So, he know, you let us know what you want to do. We are here for you, my friend. Now, we got another starter set, don't we, Rex? We do. This one right here. Now, this one has all the books guaranteed, or am I misremembering? These are guaranteed. You will, you will get one of each of the three. Only seven people will be able to get this. All we can yeah. make. That's all we have. One of the books is going to be sold out. So let's start with, I'm going to put these down for a second. X-Men number one, DF cover. This DF cover, I believe this was Terry Dotson. Oh, no, this is Mark Brooks. What am I saying? I'm out of my mind. All right. And keep in mind, the DF cover comes with a certificate of authenticity. Everybody remember, we only have seven of these. Then you get Black Cat number one. Now, this was a limited edition cover that I think we're carrying with comic sketch art. So you're getting that. And then you're getting Spider-Gwen number, I got to look at this, 25. When Marvel did, check it out. The lenticular covers. Yeah. The homage plus a lenticular. I love those ones. They are awesome. What's the MSRP on this, and what are we selling these at? Let's see here. $30 for the three-pack. All right, so it's $30 for the three-pack. You're getting the equivalent of $65. All three items are guaranteed. You definitely get the Adam Hughes Black Cat. You definitely get the X-Men by Mark Brooks. And you definitely get the Spider Gwen. And the Spider Gwen's lenticular all, all the way around. Sp oh, yeah, you yeah. know what? That's a good point. So you went, and it had the Avengers ad on. Check it out. Nice. Yeah, they did a wraparound on that. ASM 316 is one of my favorite covers of all time, too. The Todd McFarlane's uh, cover. So that's a cool homage. It's it's just a fantastic homage. All right, Dirts, we got you down for one of the Virgin Ryan Stegmans. Awesome, man. And, of course, again, you get the promo card by Lucho Perillo. So, again, we only have seven of these. And I'm going to do the thing that I love to do that drives Jerry crazy, that drives that drives Rex crazy, that drives everybody crazy, except for the fans. The fans love it. Uh -oh. So – 
<laughs> I'm going to go with the oldest item. 1963 was the year that the X-Men first appeared. So instead of giving you a $65 package for $30, you're going to get all three of these books guaranteed for $19.63. Look at that. <laughs> Jerry knew exactly what I was going to do. The year. Jerry is ready. So you heard Black Cat, Raplicon. Absolutely. Adam Hughes cover beautiful again 60 plus dollar value all guaranteed and if you if the, even if this is the only item you buy tonight you get the lucho perillo promo card and as we said the baller buyer of the night the person who spends the most is going to get a 50 dollar virgin Lucho Perillo cover. Might be Vampirella, might be Red Sonia. We'll see. Ronald, you're in for one of these. We only have six left. Guys, this is the best deal we'll ever do. I only have six more of these in the world. All right, Dave, you're in. We're down to five. We will never be able to replicate this once it sells out. And I got a feeling... Rex and Kyle, Kyle's like probably watching, you know, at home going, all right, let me see what I'm going to get even with Nick next. <laughs> so Nick, can, so some people are new to this. So how does it work? If they claim a set, how do they follow up and, and get an invoice? All right. So Jerry, thank you. That's a great thing. You know, we're so used to our regular customers. Um, Replicon, you got it. So if you purchase anything tonight, you go to the Comic Shopping Experience website. Do me a favor, Jerry, pop that information down. Um, oh, wow, the Marvel 3-pack is an eighty nine ninety seven value. Holy, I was underselling it at 70. Shows you what I know. I'm out of touch. I correct uh, you next time. I saw the price. I just I went with what you said. <laughs> don't ever go with what I say. I'm, I'm, I'm the person that knows the least in the company. Um, the... Um, you go to the comic shopping experience. Jerry will put the information up there. You fill out the form, and then we will bill you next week. In a perfect world, there you go. He's popping it up there on Bitly right now. In a perfect world, we'll bill you Monday or Tuesday, but we've been really behind. The one thing people uh, should be aware of, and for people who watch the show later, some items may sell out. They may sell out during the show. They may sell out when people watch it later. So not everything may be available after the show. Um, Mandy, I agree with you. That X-Men cover, we got so lucky. Marvel came to us many years ago. I got to listen. Nick's an old man. He's got to look at the date of the certificate. This is from 2013. Marvel came to us and said, we're doing a next ladies book. And we'd like to do a Mark Brooks cover. Would you like it? And I went, did Christmas come early? <laughs> You're asking me what I like a Mark Brooks cover. So I'm like, okay, you know, we're going to get a good Mark Brooks cover. Probably have one or two great characters, right? Man, he went out. He's got Storm. He's got Rogue. He's got Jubilee. He's got Psylocke. He has Kitty Pride. Check it out. And he's still doing X Men variants to this day. It's because everybody loves them. Yeah. Everybody loves them. So, what did we sell for these so far? So, we only have three left. Ah, thanks, Mandy. I'm really glad we had a remark of an Avengers with uh, Black Panther in homage to Chadwick Boseman, and people just went crazy for it. So, all right. This is $19.63. Old man Nick forgot that it was an $89.97 value. You're getting it tonight for 19. You're getting it during the show until we sell out for $19.63. So this is one of the better values of the night. For everybody who came in a little bit later, just real quick reminder, we have a few Iron Man number nine DF covers. Each one comes with a certificate of authenticity. But you're also getting nine random books. You could get Greg Capullo. You could get Red Sonia. You could get Pretty Deadly. 
you could get Infinity. I think Infinity was like five ninety nine or something too. Four ninety nine. This is a package that will be valued at approximately seventy dollars. You're going to get approximately forty dollars worth of back issues, including one of the more limited Mighty Morphin Power Rangers might be in the package. There's no guarantees of anything except for the Iron Man number nine. The Iron Man number nine has an MSRP of $29.99 by itself. We were going to do it at $19.62. Then Rex was going to bring it down to $9.99 for issue number nine. And this is the secret origin of Tony Stark. And then Kyle decided $9.00. So this is limited well, one no, per customer. Reverse. Kyle had it at nine ninety nine. I lowered it to nine. I'm an old man. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Make the math easier. Yeah, right. <laughs> Made the math easier. You say penny counts. So does ninety nine cents. I just wanted to nine. nine <laughs> All of a sudden, pennies don't count when it came to the Iron Man nine bundle. Uh, we, were, <laughs> we were drunk with power. What can I tell you? <laughs> so, yo guys, what's up, Mighty Comics and Collectibles? So. Should we like touch on before we go to break? You know what? Let's touch on Pride Month. You know, June is Pride Month, and we love all of our LGBTQ creators and all of our LGBTQ fans. DC released Pride number one. Uh, you got it, Dirts. You got the nine dollar Iron Man. And again, a reminder for everybody: in honor of Gem Mint being here tonight. Every person who orders, limit one per customer, gets a Lucho Perillo Vampirella promo card at no charge. It is a bonus we're giving you. So we got Pride Month, and this is a beautiful cover. Um, and this book has been selling out everywhere. People have been supporting it. Some of the best and brightest and most talented LGBTQ creators in comics contributed to this. This is a $9.99 book, and we are offering it at cover price tonight. It's just a great way to support the community. Uh, I think we're going to go to break in a second, but when we come back, we'll come back to this, and we will come back to the nice house on the lake and wait till you see what price we bring this hot book on. That book is super hot. That was my pick of the week, I think, the week prior. Incredible book. What's that, Tiny in, right? Yep. Amazing story. And that, is that a first print or a second print? Because I think the first prints are gone. First print. And wait till you see the price we're bringing the first prints at. Oh, mm -hmm. man. It's going to be limited one per customer. But here's the thing. Tynion's one of my favorite writers in comics. I love Tynion. I love Donny Cates. I love Jason Aaron. There is some incredible, incredible comics coming out. And we went crazy on this. We bought over a thousand copies because we knew it would be hot. That was that was a good uh, that was a good purchasing decision. <laughs> yep. So, all right, DC Pride, Jerry, go to commercial, my friend, and then bring us back in two minutes. We look forward to being seen by everybody.
Big news is on the way. Two brand new sales shows and two classic shows are returning to the experience. This week, sign up for our mailing list to learn more. We are back. We are back with the one, the only gem, Stephen, my man. I am so happy for you to be joining us tonight, and I'm so happy with our larger audience here tonight. We got some Geminis to come through to show some love, maybe pick up some books. We'll see. Hey, as long as they're here having a good time, that is the most important thing, right? That's what I'm saying. So one more time, because I think it's important. We've got the Pride special from DC Comics. This is DC going all out, celebrating Pride Month, supported by Jim Lee, Scott Williams, and Tamara Banvelan. Uh, this one shot has such great fan favorite LGBTQ characters from Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Midnighter, Batwoman, Aqualad, Alan Scott, Obsidian, Renee Montoya, Pied Piper, and so many more. It really does feature the introduction of the dreamer in the dcu uh it's got a pinup gallery by chris anka travis moore with uh kevin uh wada sophie campbell nick robs and many more there's six exciting profiles of dc tv's lgbtqia characters and the actors who play them so this is selling out in a lot of places it's $9.99. We're bringing it in at cover price. So, um, you know, this is a great show. Again, Nick's old. I got to look it up. You rewound and peeped the Iron Man deal. Put me down for one at $9. You got it, Replicon. Uh, Francisco, you got the sign Alex Ross print. That's right. You know what, Francisco? We've been behind. Email me at nick.barucci at dynamite.com or email uh the website again, and we will take care of it this week. We just ended up getting an incredible amount of orders after the last few shows and just fell behind. Um, the uh, the Pride book is $9.99, Ronald. We are offering it at cover price. We want people to be able to afford this, to buy it, to read it, and to help support our, our LGBTQ community during Pride Month. So... We're going to go to Nice House on the left Here. next. Oh, thank you, sir. You got it. Before we go to Nice House on the left, one more time to commemorate my boy Jem being here tonight. We have available by Jay Lee. Because we have a Jay Lee promotion happening, um, the Francisco, I have no doubt that you're solid. So you didn't. don't worry about it, buddy. You're the best. Um, this is Vampirella and the Dark Powers by Jay Lee. Wow, he went all out on that one. I, you don't really see him do backgrounds like that that often. Nope. This is on a hundred pound gallery art silk stock. This is not a poster. Check it out. Look how thick it is. Just one hand, and it pretty much, as long as you're careful, it stays up straight because it is fine art. This is 
we have an upcoming box with Jem with Jay Lee that is going to be super cool. Yeah. You can sign up for it on Indiegogo. You can find out more info on Jem's page. Yep. This is a $50 lithograph, $49.99, pennies count. <laughs> we are going to put it at 1969, the year Vampirella first appeared. So you're getting over 60% off. This is in honor of Jem being here. Wow, now, that's a great lithograph. See, when you do that in 1969, pennies count, right? Pennies count. Because pennies if you made count. it in 1970, it wouldn't be the same. Yeah, well, it would have been the 30 penny difference instead of 31 pennies. But again, <laughs> in in honor, claim Jay Lee, Dave, you that's got it. Nice, that's a nice piece, man. And then we have Peach Momoko Vampirella. He's super hot right now, too. Hey, man, X Men Demon Days. Is, is there any other hot new miniseries for Marvel outside of outside of Donny Cates and Jason Aaron? I mean, it is the hottest single creator book in a long time. It's one of the most unique Marvel titles, I would say, that's out right now as well. It's like very manga inspired, but it's colorized and it's playing with Japanese uh, uh, folklore as well as Marvel lore. So I don't know, it's got a lot going on for it. It's got a huge amount going on. This is also fifty dollars, but or forty nine ninety nine. And tonight, because we're commemorating Gem being on the air, nineteen sixty nine. Josh, <laughs> <laughs> so hot right now. Hey, and let's not forget, Peach was nominated for an Eisner for her work with Dynamite. Mm, so she nice. is not only commercially huge; she is critically acclaimed. It does not get better than this. Again, a hundred pound gallery art silk stock, not a poster. Look at this. Holding it with one hand carefully, very carefully, <laughs> holding it with one hand. But this is the ripped original art that Nick had on the air last night. <laughs> next oh, time, man. Jim, next time I do a show, I got to tell you, when you get art, when you get fine art, whether it is a lithograph fine art, or Gicle, or original art. Don't let Nick open it. Don't get too excited opening it because you will rip the art. I did this. Next time you come on the air, I'll have to show it. It's kind of funny. Well, it's not like you get a, get fine art or uh, original art graded, so you're good. <laughs> exactly. You just got to get it framed and nobody can see the rip. There and that's it. <laughs> All right. We talked about Nice House uh, on, the on, lake. The, on the lake. Yeah. Great story. That first print sold out. I think they're on a second printing. If I'm, I don't know if they're on a third printing. I definitely heard second printing happening. I can't wait for issue two to come out. This was my pick of the week last week for out of all the new comics that came out. Tiny and doing a, a post apocalyptic type of thing. And as you can see by the cover, great story. And who knows what's going to happen with the story. If it's turning into something else, I heard there was some type of optioning happening. I don't know if, correct me if I'm wrong there, but I heard something. There, you know what? Here's the thing with Tanyan. He is so rich in the way he creates mythology. Yeah. They're all talking to him. He is one of the most brilliant writers in the industry. He's so this is it. what we're going to do tonight. So we got this one. First print. Then we have the cardstock cover. Oop, wrong one. Sorry. Cardstock cover. First oh, print. wow. Okay. Those card stocks do really well with CGC, too. I don't know the condition of that one, but those things tend to uh, get higher grades easier, right? Yep. And then we have the incentive. So this is what we're going to do. That's a cool set. One per customer. One per customer, you can buy this at cover price. If you buy mm -hmm. just this tonight, if you buy... Hey, Javier, how you doing, man? If you buy even just Nice House on the Left number one at cover price... You get Lucho Perillo Vampirella promo That's card, right. limit one per household. If you want to buy the cardstock cover, again, limit one per person. These are $10 each. Both are first prints. And if you want the 1 in 25 incentive, the 1 in 25 hard to get incentive is $50. Yeah. Now, we have these up on our website for $100. So we're going yep. to do $50 in honor of Jem being here. And, Jem, I'm going to open up the book, show a little bit of the art. This is going to be a little bit of a spoiler, but talk about it just a little bit. 
Yeah, this was a great uh, – like you you mentioned earlier, like he, he's crafted this universe in one issue. You meet this woman who has this circle of friends. Everybody kind of loosely knows everybody, but there's this guy who's there, this guy with the glasses, and she decides to talk to him, and he, he hits her with the best pickup line I think I've ever heard. Hey, how do you think the world's going to end? And that, that's a good pickup line at a bar, right? So they get to talking and texting. The only thing is the guy's kind of like – Really hell bent on how she thinks the world's gonna end. Anyway, then we uh we get an invitation to this nice house on the lake. Think about Bruce Wayne's house in Justice League. It looks like that. So they all get this invitation. They all meet each other, and you get a lot of little you get a little biography on everybody. How this guy knew these people. When did he meet them? When did he choose them? So you're really intrigued on like cho- chose them for what to come out on a, on a house on the lake getaway. Like what is it? So uh, I don't know if I want to go into spoiler territory or not, but let's just say his pickup line, he was serious and wanting to know how they thought the world would end. And the books, the story that the book's going to tell is these people in this nice house on the lake being the only people left in the world. So crazy concept. Uh, you you don't really even see it coming. I hate to even spoil it, but I you know kind of want to give you the gist of it. Uh, but it's going to be a super interesting read, man. It, this is on DC Black Label, too. I thought this was uh, on Image or that it was creator-owned, but this is DC publishing this book. Yep. Um, uh, Ronald, if you were to buy all three, it's $64. $50 for the incentive, $10 for the cardstock, $4 cover price for number one. This bad boy is going for 15 to 20 bucks. No, I was going to say, because, Nick, on my review... I dropped my review at Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. In the comments, people are saying, dang, my shop's already sold out. My shop's already sold out. Hard to get this, even this first print. It's dope you got the variants, but even the first print is hard to find, man. Well, look, to me, Tanyan is one of the most brilliant writers in the industry. I mean, yeah. And this was an easy one for me to say, let's buy a thousand copies. I want people to read this book. It is really important for me to have fans read this book. We sold it for cover price on the website up until it was released, and then we increased the price. You, you know, all of our regulars got it at cover price. Um, you got it, Ronald. We got you for all three. Yeah, Dave, all Dave, our- Dave's in on the set, I think, too. Nice, nice. Oh, no, right, no, no. I'm sorry. Regular cover and the card stock one. Yeah, he's buying the pair. He's buying the yeah. pair, the regular and the card stock. Um, the uh, uh, Dirts is taking the three package as well. That's awesome. Moon hey, Knight Moon in the Knight. chat. <laughs> What'd you say? I was saying the same Moon Knight in the chat. What's going on, Mark Spector? There you go. There you go, right? Which personality <laughs> are you? That's all yeah, I want he to might, know. He might not be Mark right now, right? Exactly. Uh, you got it, Dan. Listen. That's a good well, set. We want you to read these. I love everything James Tanyan does, and it's the reason why I said we're going to buy a 1,000 of these. We'll offer them a cover price on our website for a while, and then we're going to offer it on one of our shows. And then yeah. Jem being here was the perfect one. We didn't even put this on on last week because we were working on Jem coming in, and I was like, it'll be really cool if we do this because it also allows Jem's readers to pick one up. Right. Um, oh, crazy. you're Jake Lockley now? Okay. <laughs> so just a reminder here you go card stock cover and the 50 dollars incentive cover so those are all available for everybody that's coming in a little bit later let's put these bad boys over here just a quick reminder we've got iron man number nine df cover 29.99 msrp book that's Greg Land cover, you said, right? Greg Land cover, the secret origin of Tony Stark. Every DF cover comes with a DF certificate of authenticity. And you're also going to get nine random bonus buck. Yeah, this is basically the dynamite mystery box here for 10 bucks. You're getting the guaranteed Iron Man 9 exclusive variant plus some random comics, which have good stuff in there too. That Infinity One, that Thanos cover. Yeah, some other good stuff. A Capullo Batman cover I saw. Yeah, Jonathan Hickman, you got uh, Battlestar Galactica, you got Justice League United. Again, you don't know what's coming in. Power Rangers, limited edition cover, out of print Spider-Man from, uh, Jesus, 2008. Yeah. All of this for $9. And then the other one we had is a three-pack, 
which is eighty nine ninety nine MSRP. Uh, you got it, Replicon. You got the card stock, nice house on the lake. Um, this is a twenty nine ninety nine collection. This is the DF cover by Mark Brooks, X Men number one from two thousand thirteen. You're also getting from. 2019 you're getting black cat number one this is comic sketch art shared variant comes with a df certificate and you're getting spider gwen 25 lenticular so you're getting all this for 1963 the year the x-men first appeared uh odd <laughs> Oh man, I disagree, Night Owl. I, I like I like both. I think Lou Fifty Two got a lot of people back into reading comics too. It was just such a great jumping on point. Yep. You no, know, regardless on how every title ended or what have you. I actually, you know what I just got in today, not to derail too much, but I just got in. Uh, I think it's a little bit early too, man. The Justice League New Fifty Two Omnibus. I think we have an omnibus coming up on the show too, but uh, they're yep, finally printing all these stories in omnibus format. It took about ten years, but we're we're here. And for everybody else, just one thing to keep in mind, again, in honor of Jim Mint being here, a Lucho Perillo limited edition promo card. And that's Lucho. all because uh, Dave Cerrone mentioned it in the comments. That just shows you, you, you know, speak up. You never know. They got a, a lot of stuff in the vault back there. I heard it's tricky to get into the vault, though. But, it uh, is. It is. <laughs> I do that on purpose. I'm the only one that can get through the days. I heard, man. <laughs> And Amy. Yeah, Amy's really good. So we were going to have a cosplay promo card tonight but because we wanted something to to really honor and appreciate Jem for being here. Again, one of the best ambassadors of comics. You got to check out his YouTube channel, Jem Mid. Um, and then Dave said, we want Lucho Perillo. And I was like, all right, I got to go get Lucho Perillo cards. Rex is like, Nick, we're going on in two minutes. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, you got him. You got him quick, man. Yeah, and and the other thing that I did was baller buyer of the night, which right now is getting to be a tight race. Baller buyer of the night gets a free fifty dollar Lucho Perillo Virgin cover. It'll either be Vampirella or Red Sonia. It'll be a premium cover that we are offering to the person who buys the most and spends the most money tonight, which is really exciting. So yeah. speaking of omnibus, since you brought up the omnibus, and I will disagree with Night Owl, you know, I I, I kind of get what you're saying about Watchmen. I can see, you know, people don't like to, Watchmen to be messed with, and yeah. you know, I'm, and I'm loving Rorschach. We got a great Rorschach book coming up, uh, but I always was saying like this could have been any character. It didn't have to be Rorschach. So I don't, I'm not really understanding the tie-in, but I could understand, you know, that critique. But anyway, I digress. We have the DC uh, omnibus. This is what the rebirth. This is the rebirth. But did you see the newest comment from Dave? I'm being compared to Loki now. Oh, I didn't see it. No. Um, oh, Dave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, That's what I heard, man. <laughs> this is from Dan Jurgens' private collection. Oh wow. Am I remembering this right? Is this right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Rex. You hit this one. I'm going to show the art because this is huge. Uh, Dan Jurgens, DC Universe Rebirth Omnibus with Superman, Batman sketch on inside front cover. Oh, nice. So he sketched and, it. That's crazy. And so oh, wow. That's dope. So is this, this is this the regular Omnibus? Because I think they did come out, with, come out with an extended version, too. But this looks like this is the first print, though. It's I think it's the first print. It's the $75 one. Yeah, I think that's the one that I have. Because I didn't double dip and get the extended version. I think that's that's the first one they came out with. Yeah, it's it, this is the one that still has Dan DiDio in as part of it. So okay. um, this is from a few years ago. But this is Dan Jurgens' personal file That's copy. crazy. That's a great, a great remark, too. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got? What are we selling this one for? Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm not seeing a price on here. What was the price? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this I is I, we're selling what this. year what year was Dan Jurgens born? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Let me see what I can find. 
Uh, I may just be getting up and making it up. Because how do you, you know, it's hard with a signed and remarked omnibus. It's not like there's a, 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 a GPA that we can figure out how much it's worth. You know, it's kind of like, what is it worth to be out of Dan Jurgens, which is DC comic legend, uh, for him to sign and remark something on a, on his personal book? You know, so. It's, it's impossible to get. I mean, and this isn't just a normal, like, you know, a decent remark. This is a full-on sketch of Batman. And let's keep in mind, Dan Jurgens drew Batman No Man's Land with, with Greg Rucker writing. Dan Jurgens also wrote, for old people like me who remember, $300? It's $300. Okay. He did Death of Superman, too, didn't he? Or am I a mistake? No, nope, he did Death of he Superman. Did. I'm uh, I'm just uh, I'm just I want to tap into the Batman that he did. Oh my God, it's Batman and Superman. Yeah, dang, it's hard for me to see because I'm like, like I'm looking through a keyhole here. But first of all, I love the silver on the uh, black uh, cover. That looks great, man. Hmm. So he did in silver paint pen. He did it in silver paint pen. That's always tough because that smears so easily. Ronald, yeah, professional, you, and it sold out. <laughs> Ronald yeah. is in the lead. Not only did he get the DC Rebirth Omnibus, but he's also in the lead to get the fifty dollar, uh, the fifty dollar Lucho Perillo. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe someone on the team behind the scenes can help him out. I think he's having some trouble with the uh, form there. So, uh, listen, here's uh, here's what I'll say, Jerry. Do me a favor. Pop in my email address, nick.barucci at dynamite.com. Anyone who has a problem with their orders or filling everything out, send me an email. And the other thing, Jerry, do me a favor. Make sure uh, we let the technical people know that the problem that uh, Ronald is having is the fact that uh, it asks for a different phone number, and that's slowing him down. We don't want that to be the case. we got to figure out what the glitch is. Hey, Nick, why don't you give my email as well? Okay. And then th this way both of us are, will be getting it. So, you know, this way we'll double, you know, make doubly sure that nothing falls through the cracks. Yep, add in rex.wang at dynamite.com. It's an easier name to spell. <laughs> Way easier name to spell. I got people that do one R, add an H, get rid of a C and add an H. My, my mom named me Rex because back in the day when I was born, they would drug drug them up, and she thought it would make it easier for me to remember to write in school. And the irony of the story is I still spelled it wrong because I made my X's look like pluses when I first started writing. <laughs> uh, you can't ask for a cooler name than Rex, though. I mean, come on. Growing up as a kid, your name is Rex? Oh, we're going to have to talk later when we're off the air. <laughs> Let me tell you, the number of jokes I could tell you that I had to suffer through. Uh. <laughs> too funny, too funny. Um, you know, I'm going to just – I've got some really cool other items, but I'm going to real quick go to DC Pride one more time. This is sold out in many stores. It's a $9.99 book. We're offering it at $9.99. We want to support – uh, Pride Month for all of our LGBTQ fans as well as creators. We want as many people to read the book as possible. And uh, and uh, I think that, uh, Patricia, you need to go. Uh, <laughs> that is not something we need at a comic book show. Um, so uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, nah. So anyway, nine ninety nine cover price, um, and here's here's the other baller price buster of the night. All right, Miss Fury. We're doing an Indiegogo with our boy Billy Tucci. Love Billy. Uh, man, Dave's got you complimented. <laughs> He's killing it, man. Oh, Sounds like that. Kang. Let's let's save that one. Can we pull, <laughs> pull, that, one on the pull that one up there and just, just like paste it on the screen? Ah, a boy, King or Conqueror. Nice. You know what can I say? So we have <laughs> Miss Fury, number four, red fiery red cover by Billy Tan. I love Billy. I love Billy. This, now Billy Tucci, we're doing 
the Indiegogo with. Billy Tan did this cover, and this is from 2013. Now, we made 75 of these fiery red covers. What's the MSRP? I think I remember, but I don't want to risk it. $50. So this is a $50 premium item. Um, this is a $50 premium item. Um, we're going to do it for 5 bucks. 90% off. And what do we got? Five of these? Five. five of them, yeah. Only the first five people can get this. This is, by the way, when we say this is a perfect 10, it's a perfect 10 read. Not a perfect <laughs> 10 grade. Let's make sure. We got Jim in here. Got to make sure everybody knows. Um, all right. Thank you, Ronald. You the man. We're going to have an update on Monday on when uh, when uh, the Miss Fury campaign with Billy Tucci will be shipping. Look, this is limited to 75 in the world. Want to put it up there close. Comes with a hollow foil seal, the Dynamite Entertainment hollow foil seal. Fiery red cover, limited to 75 in the world. We have five of them tonight, 90% off. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, we're getting some interesting posts tonight. These are my people, man. These are the uh, the EXP regulars. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you disavow. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's not, these are my guys. Anyway, Miss Fury. Um, there we go. I, <laughs> Ronald, thanks for the support again. Um, everybody, this is a great value. Look, this is yeah. a $50 item. It's a great read. Um, it's five dollars because we want you to buy it we want you to pick it up we want to make it affordable we want to thank you for bringing us into your homes because it really is an honor we do not take it for granted that you could be doing anything else tonight you could be watching anything else tonight and you're taking the time out to hang with us talk comics um it's just great um so again What's the best story at Dynamite? Just curious, Nick. Ooh, that's like asking me who my favorite kid is, you know? <laughs> Ronald, you got it. You got a Miss Fury uh, number four at five bucks. Um, we only have four left, everyone. Um, that's right, man. Geminites keep it real. You got to stay positive about the great comic hobby. It's the only way this hobby is going to grow. We got to stay positive. We got to love it. All right, Aaron, uh, I can't tell you what my best story at Dynamite is. Uh, that's 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 a dangerous question to answer. Uh, <laughs> but what I will tell you is that we have some really great series happening right now. Betty Page is a lot of fun. Red Sonia. Yep, Invincible Red Sonia by Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor. Uh, we just did a new boys series. Good Dan dear, Becky. How you doing, Dan? <laughs> He's answering for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, what do you, you know, I mean, this is pretty cool, right, Jem? Yeah, no, it's great. And you got to love Billy Tucci. I love the negative. Usually, you, you know, with the negative colors, you don't really see white like that. I like how it's like red, got the negative space with the white. It's a great cover, man. Yep. And it's Billy. This one's Billy Tan. So this is eight years old. So I think we're going to uh, have to go to breaks. So. Yeah, I think it's break time. Rex is egging me on, like Nick. You got to go. Come on, break time. So, <laughs> well, we, when we when we come back from break, though, man, we got Silver Age Fantastic Four, Silver Age ASM, and a, a couple other great ones too, man. Yep, awesome, Victoria. I love the fact that you love Brian Reed's run. His run was great. It was fantastic. So we will be back in two minutes.
There's something for every imagination at your local comic shop. Visit ComicShopLocator.com to find a store near you. Big news is on the way. Two brand new sales shows and two classic shows are returning to the experience. This week, sign up for our mailing list to learn more. Yeah, really. Um, all right. Looks like we got to kick somebody else off, Jerry. I don't know what the scout comment is. Uh, yeah. So anyway, hey, everybody, we're back. We got Nick, Rex, and our special guest of the evening, Jem Mint, my man. Thank One you. One of the nicest oh, guys I know. What was that? I always go the opposite way on a camera. You see what I mean? All right. I wanted to give Jem a thumbs up, but I was over on this side. <laughs> so uh, Jem, one of the best ambassadors of the comic industry, does a great weekly review every Wednesday. Whether you're watching this now or you're checking it out later, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or our website, make sure you go to Jem Mint on YouTube. He has great Wednesday drops where he talks about all the fantastic comics out that week. Um, I, I love his his delivery. His taste is impeccable. I agree with practically every review he says. He's spot on. Um, you know, I usually wait till after I read my comics before watching his reviews. because We try to go non-spoiler, but it's hard. Sometimes you want to talk a little bit about the plot points, and it can get sometimes spoilery. But if you guys want full spoilers, though, on Fridays, actually, I'm sorry, Saturdays, I do a top 10 best comics of the week with my co-host, uh, Rockin' Robbie Billups, who he's my favorite comic book reviewer. So, you know, obviously I can't like myself. So I, I actually watch his and then we, uh, we started doing a top 10 show uh, every Saturday together. So we actually, we released one uh, this morning. Nice. Well, that's a tough job. I mean, you know, when you're reviewing the book, I mean, yeah. if you don't include something, you're basically saying, listen, this is a great read, but I, right. can't do about I don't want to be it. too big. And I always think in my head, like, I want them to know I actually read this book. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, it was great. Everybody should read it. Like, tell me why it was great. And in doing so, it's a fine line that you walk when you don't yeah. want to give away spoilers. So I think I've been getting better at it, but you know, I think just, you do a great job. A Please lot of people. That. Thank you, Rex. A lot of people like Nick though, maybe they, like I watch Robbie's after I read and after I do my video, because I don't want to be influenced by his thoughts. So then I'll watch his, and I like to see when I agree with somebody or, you know, if I disagree, sometimes it's like, what is this guy talking about? Uh, nice house on the lake was amazing. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a fun thing to do and uh, kind of share thoughts with other people, you know? No, it's key. It's key. And, and the reason why I like to watch yours after, because I just want to say, see, the thing that you do in some of your reviews that I like, you delve more into it than than most and you may catch things i miss yeah so i'll have read it and then you'll talk about it and then i'm going to say wait how did i miss that yeah. or oh my god this is deeper than i thought 
freaking gems on top of this. I'm glad I watched. And you know what? You, you know what, Nick? I always had a, a problem with uh, reading retention. Like sometimes I'm reading a page and like, and, and you, I, what did I even just read? So I found when I come back and talk about it, it really helps me retain. Uh, the story, especially when you're reading 20 titles a week, that's you know some come out by uh, weekly, some come out once a month, and it's how, how do you keep everything together? I find talking about it or watching people's reviews helps me really retain the stuff that I read. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great call. So everybody, check out Jem's channel. Wednesdays he's got a show, Saturdays he's got a show, and for the next six weeks he's got a Friday night show with uh, Barry Gary with uh, with uh, Pressable Daily, Pressable and Defect. actually. Uh, we we we've, we've called in some big some big guns too, man. We got uh Benny the comic historian who's got the the largest comic book channel on YouTube. We have him there. Everything always. Who has a huge uh, MCU type of rumor mill channel. Who else have we had on there? There's a lot of a lot of big guys. I've assembled the comic book Illuminati for the Loki recaps on uh on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, that was great. I, I showed up last night literally in the last minute and a half, and I was like, ah, and then I started watching it, you know, just yeah. hit rewind. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, celebrating our boy Jim's appearance here, we were going to give away, I'll, I'll give the whole story. We were going to give away, uh, what's up, DJ? We were going to give away a uh, cosplay promo card. We thought it would be really cool to give away a cosplay promo card. But then before the show started, Dave said, how about some Lucho Perillo? And I was like, so I bolted. Rex is like, Nick, we got two minutes to airtime. <laughs> I was like, Rex, the customer's always right. He's asking for Lucho. It'll be a lot harder to find Lucho books. Let me get this limited edition Lucho Perillo promo card. All right. Everybody, limit one per customer. Everybody gets one tonight. Check it out. But what's cool about that is you can't buy that anywhere, right? Wasn't that only part of his Indiegogo campaign? Yep, Indiegogo Premiere. That's it. So we are bringing it here. We almost brought the Jade promo card, but you know what? The Indiegogo supporters, they got to get all their uh, okay, packages good call. first. Yeah. And we'll share that wealth another day. That'll gotcha. be another day. And Nick will be doing the same thing. Three minutes to go. You hear stuff <laughs> going around. Ah, oh, where are those cards? Where are those cards? <laughs> Nothing got thrown around. I might have tripped because it's a maze. Hey, but don't make me pull out that original art that you that you accidentally ripped apart when you opened it. Stuff was getting thrown around. It wasn't the comics or the card <laughs> stuff. But I don't know what else he keeps in that vault. I'm asking me. You know what? If Jem's having a good time, maybe one one another Saturday next month he can come back in. I know he's got stuff next week. He got the very Gary auction on Friday night. That's Is it Friday night? The 26th, I believe, right? Yeah. It starts at 7, right? The Very Gary Auction, which is the biggest comic book auction on YouTube, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, Saturday the 26th. Oh, it's on Saturday. It's on okay. Saturday. Got it. Last time it was Friday. So, Oh, that's right, because mm -hmm. it was Memorial Day weekend. So mm -hmm. this is Gary's last auction until August. He's skipping July. So Saturday the 26th, starting at 8 o'clock, check out very Gary's auction. We're going to have Gem Mint. We're going to have Pressable Defects. We're going to have Jay and Matt. It's going to be awesome. I love their auctions. I, I can't forget Guy, For yeah. Guy Forge as well. Yep, and Guy <laughs> Forge. So – yeah, right. but guys, you don't want to miss it. They, they go four to six hours long. There's like four to six hundred people in there. It's a, an insane amount of stuff. It's it's the it's the biggest, most fun comic book auction live on YouTube you'll see. Now, yep. this one doesn't count because it's a claim sale, so it's in a different uh, category. So, not it'll to crochet. Still be, it'll still be great. And the <laughs> uh, and the other thing I'll say is is that you should check out Very Gary and Pressable Defects. You know. Yep. Um, even if you're watching us on Facebook or on our website or on Twitter, make sure you go to YouTube and check it out. Uh, there are giveaways as well. You're right, DJ. There are yeah, DJ links just gave me an idea. Maybe I should do a giveaway on the auction too. I got a lot of shit I got to get rid of. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if we curse on this show, but I got a ton of stuff that's piling up, man. <laughs> a lot of good quality, <laughs> cool comic collectibles. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. the clean version. We got something that is really, really, really uh, – we're only bringing one of each tonight. We actually have three of each. I'm only going to offer one of each, and I'm going to 
offer it at the best price possible. This is Strange Tales, 178 and 179. Wow. Jim Starlin's private copies signed by Jim Starlin. And you know what? Actually, I need to finish what I was saying earlier. Sorry. Nick is full of digressions. Um, so if Jim wants to come back next month for a show, I'll I'll show the original art that Rex was talking about. I got this Will Conrad Wolverine page and this Brett Booth Teen Titans page. Mm. And I was like, oh, my God, they finally came in. They finally came in. And I make, went. It's going to make you cry when you see it. I'm telling you. And I Is it that bad? I ripped oh, the art. Bad. I ripped the not, – not in half, half, but it's Man. bad. So we'll have fun next month. You'll check it out if, when Jim wants to come back. Uh, the MCU will ruin you. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. I think now you are Mark Spector. All right. <laughs> so we got Strange Tales, 178, Warlock. This is Jim Starlin's file copy. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. From our, our boy Spencer Beck at the Artist Choice. That's crazy. Okay. Yep. It's Aaron. You know what? If you're watching our show, you are worthy, my friend. So this is 178. Now, Nick, and I always get confused with the Warlock covers because there's so many covers of him looking like that on the cover. Is that the one where he first uh, is named Adam Warlock? I that I don't remember. I don't remember either. And because me and Tom talked about one of those strange tale books, and I feel like that's the issue. Uh, on, on our honorable mentions top ten video we do, but anyway, if only one of us had a phone that could look it up and just say when was Adam Warlock first called Adam Warlock. I know, uh, I know, it's uh first appearance of Pip the Troll. This is the first Pip the Troll. Yeah. Right. So uh, this, uh, this, this. So these are both from Jim Starlin's personal collection. So check it out. He's had these for 40 plus years, 40 plus years in his house. We're offering one of each tonight. One of each. What do we, where do we popping these bad boys out at? Uh, let me see. I think it's less than the Jergens that we had. Uh, we have 179 and 250. So once a, so, so anyway, I have your answer. 250 each. Yeah. Marvel premiere number one, April 1972. Yeah. That's the one I was thinking of. Similar cover, I think, though. Well, you know, Starlin with, with the Cosmos and everything he was doing, you know? I mean, it just stood out. When Starlin was doing these covers, they stood out, and nobody was doing it like this. It's, it, it, you know, it's kind of like Neil Adams had his flavor. Starlin had his flavor. Yeah. So we got 178, 179, all, both Jim Starlin's personal copies, each is $250. This is, on a lot of levels, two gems in and of themselves. So keep in mind, we're selling out of a lot of items tonight. We're doing well. Some of the items will sell out after tonight. So, um, you know, jump in as you can. But you were talking about Rorschach earlier. I mentioned War And gems frozen. You there? I think I'm here. Uh, am I back? Yep, you're back. You're back. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Dave, this is sold. Dave Cironi bought this. Looks like Dave may be catching up to Ronald now about getting the free uh, Vampirella or Red Sonia. Uh, Lucio Perillo, man. Yeah, you got it. So Dave, you're not a, you're not an omnibus guy. I'm surprised you let that uh that omni go to Ronald, man. <laughs> you know, I guess he blinked, right? <laughs> you ever, remember that uh remember when the official I mean you're younger than me, maybe nobody remembers this but me, but Marvel <laughs> had ads for the official uh handbook at the Marvel Universe. I have the, the omnibus for that actually. And the ad had the watcher reading it, and he goes I didn't know that. I must have blinked. <laughs> I don't remember that ad, but that's a good one. Oh, man. Almost thought that was my tech going whack. Nah, nah, I, got, I got a loose hardwire connection, man. It's That's a long story. All right. First <laughs> picture troll, death ship, $250. This is from Jim Starlin's private collection. He's had these for over 40 years. 
And just as a reminder, comes with a certificate of authenticity from the artist choice, Jim Starlin's representative. So we sold the 178 to Dave. Dave's got very good taste. And now 179 is the only one left. I have all the original handbooks in both versions that Marvel put out. That's yeah, cool. me too, Ronald. Isn't that awesome? So here you go. Signed by Jim. 179. First Pip the Troll coming to you. I am an omnibus guy, but <laughs> save my money for that Starlin. Yeah, I thought he was into the Omnis too, but I got you. Smart man, smart man. He knew <laughs> what he wanted. He knew what he wanted, and he was waiting. All he right. zoomed in on the rack back there and saw what you had. Exactly. So, so this we, is the book I was uh, teasing earlier. Same uh, same guy who did uh, my Vampirella exclusive, right? This is Ken Haser, right? Yep. Love his remarks. His remarks are dope, man. So Tom King is a freaking genius. There is no doubt about it. Basically, practically everything he writes is off the charts awesome. And Rorschach is just fantastic. And DC released these yellow covers for making it easier for the sketches to be like a Rorschach test. And we were able to get Ken to do the remarks. What are we offering these at? MSRP is eighty nine ninety nine. Eighty nine yeah. ninety nine is the MSRP. We are offering this tonight for fifty dollars, and we have one. Just one of them, yeah. Only one of them. Only one person will get this. This is hand drawn original art. It You're almost looks like that's what the cover, how the cover was printed. But yeah, it's an all yellow book with a with a remark by Ken. That's crazy. It is. Dang. You, can, you can get this CBCS verified if you want. Again, this is like the Geminite special price of $50. It's almost half off, everybody. So this is a really cool comic. If you've read it, you know, we had some people here commenting. People are divisive when it comes to uh, Watchmen. I get it, you know. The thing is, is if you enjoy the stories beyond the first collection, they're there for you to read. If you don't want to read them, and you you just want the first collection, you can stop there. I mean, that's the beauty of comics. You know, right. that is the beauty of comics. The original yeah. Watchmen is always there to read, you know? Yep. Look, I love Beverly Hill Cops 1 and 2. I just pretend the third one never happened. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you could do the same with Terminator. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. One, Terminator, one and two. <laughs> yep. And two was one of the three best sequels of, ev of yep. any movie. Yep. Got Star Wars, Terminator, Godfather. Mm, Those, I thought you were going to say Back to the Future. <laughs> ooh, ooh, com one. Comes in at number four. <laughs> we, we, had a, we had a Ken Hazer remark of, uh, of Doc Brown the other night, I think. Oh, yeah, we did. That yeah, sold right that away. A, yeah, that was a Ken Hazer uh, remark. So when did Watchmen come out? Now you're going to make me look on the phone again? Yeah. All right, hold on. There's a new Beverly Hills Cops. I think they're going to do a better job this time. I can't remember. On first yep, day, same day. with Godfather 3, Dave. Yeah. yeah. I love the fact that people are like, oh, that's misunderstood. No, it wasn't. It was not misunderstood. <laughs> 1986. You know, 1986. Okay. Jerry, you cannot. You cannot. The first person who buys this, and we only have one, 1986. So there so, can't be a second person. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Evil's Comics. And remember, if you buy nothing else and just buy this, remember, Lucho Perillo promo card, 1986. <laughs> <laughs> not fair. Sorry, man. Boy, John's not going to be too happy when he gets back. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> John Cole, uh, our colleague who likes doing the shows, he was, he was eyeing this. And it's going to Ronald. There you go, Ronald. That was a crazy price, yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, man. I see Nick gets real loose with the prices on this show, man. Well, here's the thing. The, <laughs> fan, the fans allow us to come into their homes. They watch us. Every once in a while, I just want a surprise. And Jerry's still got the tonight only 50 bucks. He's hoping I forget that it's 1986. <laughs> Too late now. Yeah, right? Um but, uh, nah, man, I am a little bit, you know, every once in a while, I'll have fun with the pricing. I'll give the fans a little bit more um, because they're our fans. 
they're giving us their time. You know, we're here to entertain. We're here to bring them an enjoyable time. At the same time, you know, they're spending their hard-earned money with us. They could be spending it anywhere. They're spending it with us. If I can reward them, I'm going to. Look, on the Rorschach, we lost money. It happens. But you Usually. know what? Ronald, who's been a huge supporter, is even happier now than he was before because he got one of the best deals of the night. I Kyle and I just do it to watch Nick freak out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever watch uh, Moneyball? Uh, I don't think so. Is it a show uh, or a movie? Movie. movie. It sounds Brad familiar, Pitt. but I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it was Brad Pitt was the baseball one where he coached the Oakland A's. No, I didn't catch that one. Yeah, GM. GM, sorry, GM, general manager. So Brad Pitt couldn't watch any of the games. I can't watch any shows that Rex and John do without me because – they really, really like to have well, fun. He always goes back and watches it later. Make sure it's totally out of control. Yeah, right? <laughs> and speaking of out of control, for the people that tuned in late, Iron Man number nine DF cover. This is a $29.99 book. You are getting the Secret Origin of Tony Stark DF exclusive cover, plus nine random books. You may get some Batman by Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo. You may get Red Sonia by Mark Russell. You may get Pretty Deadly. You may get Infinity. You may get BSG. You may get Spider-Man. Again, it's random books. You're looking at approximately a $70 value. You may get the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers limited edition cover. Spider-Man out of print books from back in the day. But guaranteed you get the Iron Man number nine. Guaranteed you get the Iron Man number nine. This alone at $9 is a steal. You're getting this entire package for $9. Less than a dollar book. That was what I was going for. And you succeeded. You succeeded. <laughs> like the dollar store. Only a lot more value. Yep. And you don't have to worry about any of this expiring. Yeah, I never buy food at the dollar store. <laughs> so this is arguably the best value of the night. We also have Miss Fury number four, Fiery Red. We still have four of these left, limited to only 75 in the world. This is the Billy Tan limited fiery cover. Comes with a certificate of authenticity and the DE holofoil seal, which you know, we haven't talked about this much tonight. Our holofoil seals are made so you can open them. So mm. comes with the holofoil seal. This is a $50 item that we're offering at $5 because my hope is you buy this, even though it's a collectible, you read it, and then you say, now I got to go buy number one through three and number five through eight from Dynamite. So we want you to read this. It's a collectible. It's a great value. It's a perfect 10 price, not a perfect 10 gem mint. It's a perfect 10 <laughs> It's a perfect 10 read, and it's a perfect 10 gem mint, and that gem mint uh, is a perfect 10 ambassador of comics. Awesome <laughs> guy. Um, but, you know, it's just a great read. You know what we got to do, Gem? We got to take Hope's art on the uh, Red Sonya cover and turn it into a T-shirt. Yeah, I know. We should. That would be – that would rock. Yeah. So five dollars for this, and you know we had quite a few other items. I'm just going to go real quick because we're about to go to break again. Um, you know what I think we should talk about? Nice house on the lake. Nice house on the lake. Let's bring nice house on the lake back. So we've got some really special pricing for the fans. For those of you that came in late, this is limit one per customer. Nice house on the lake, number one, first print. What do we do? Cover price four dollars. Let me see. Yeah, uh, the first. Yeah, the the regular cover uh, was cover price, and then let me find it. The card stock was ten. Card stock was ten, and then the uh, uh, one twenty five is uh, fifty. There we go. So this is one of the hottest books out right now. And I really want Jem to talk it up because he articulates it so much better than I do. 
Yeah, I mean, Tiny and he 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 created this world uh, that you're you're drawn in immediately with this issue. This is not a build up issue. You're immediately introduced to uh, the main character and then the supporting cast, and, and you're put into this uh, this this kind of not not a it's a real hook at the end. He really hooks you with this end of the world apocalyptic type of uh, event that happens and this nice house on the lake. It's inhabiting the last twelve people, I believe it is. How does it end? Who is the guy? Is he an alien? Is he some kind of supernatural being? Uh, why did he pick these people? And, and what he's done, he's he's picked like uh, these different people that have their own skills. They have the artist. They have the writer. They have the chef. So he he's pan-picked these people based on some type of merit. Uh, he's given them their own little logos and everything. And now we need to figure out how did the world end? Why did it end? Why did he choose these people? And what role are they going to play? So he hooked he hooks you in this one issue. You get so much backstory on the characters without being uh, overwhelming or, or boring or drawn out. It's just uh, it's just a great read, man. That's why everybody's praising this book. And it's a fifteen to twenty dollar book in, in some retailers, and yep. we're offering it for cover price four bucks. Sold out. It's sold out everywhere. It's on a second printing now, and it probably will end up on the third printing. I mean, everything so. goes into multiple printings. I mean, look at. I was watching. Do you ever watch Bueller? Uh, yeah. He was his guy Bob last night was everything saying, comics. Yep. Yep. He sold his. Um, uh, what's the Boom Studios book? Something's I mean, Killing the Children. Some, yeah. He sold it for over 600 bucks. First printing so, ungraded. I sold my run. I had the second print number one. And I had like issues one through 15. I think that's before they went on break on, on Very Gary's auction for like 450 bucks. Nice. Yeah. So getting this at cover price is a steal. Yeah. Victoria you, wants a regular cover. You got it, Victoria. We'll add it to the list. Not a problem. That's a great read, man. It is. It really, really is. And, you know, like I said, we got a few. Before we get a break, I want to just remind everybody, one limit, one per person. Every order tonight in honor of Jen and with Dave's suggestion gets a Lucho Perillo Vampirella promo card that was available only in his Indiegogo campaign. You can It covers it right there. Exclusive promo card. We just have a few extra. And because we got our J. Lee uh, special uh, Indiegogo campaign launching in about a month, uh, Victoria, if you love horror, you're going to love this. It's, it's not just horror. It's suspense. It's everything. We have two $50 lithographs, Vampirella and the Dark Powers by J. Lee and Vampirella and the Dark Powers by Peach Momoko. These are $50 each. They're $19.69 special price. And we've already sold some. And you know what? This is a great value. And this is commemorating what we're going to kick off uh, fairly soon in about a month. These are each 100-pound gallery art silk stock. Like I was saying, you can hold it on one side. It's not a poster that all of a sudden falls over. This is fine art. And again, you got Jay Lee. You know what? I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to take it a step further. If anybody buys both of them tonight, 30 bucks. So you got $49.99. Both of them are 100 If you buy one, it's $19.69. But if you buy both, it's 30 bucks. So if you bought one and you want to upgrade, you get to upgrade right now. But I think Jerry's giving me the last commercial break time. So we'll do that. And then we're going to come back to some Silver Age. Sounds good.
to be continued. Three little words that hold the secret to the next great story. Three words that will thrill you, confound you, give life to new possibilities. Every variation of to be continued is a promise. A promise of adventure. A promise of excitement. A promise of unseen wonders and unexplored worlds. A promise that every issue you read makes you a part of a never-ending journey. And behind every page, there will be an unopened door waiting for you. This story to be continued at your local comic book shop today. Visit ComicShopLocator.com today. Today's comics market is ripe with new titles by creators who are determined to get their books into your hands. My name is Henri Kompen. For the last decade, I've been making and selling my own creator-owned comics and dealing as a collector in live sales. My signature series, Yi Sun Shin, is the book that cannot be defeated in battle and has over a quarter million copies in print. Now I'm taking comics to the next level and laying the groundwork for my fellow creators to get their voices heard so they can connect directly with you. This is your chance to engage live with top comic book talent and get your comics signed without having to wait in long lines or pay any fees. But remember, we only have a limited amount of their books in stock. So always remember to... Call it as you see it! Rex and I talked about something, and we're going to do something special. Everybody has to wait till the end of the show. We're going to do something special that will be, again, in honor of Jem, that I think a few fans will like. So just want to remind everybody two things. We brought a promo card that it was only available in an Indiegogo campaign. We brought it every single consumer tonight gets one, limit one per customer. Bowler buyer of the night gets a $50 Lucho Perillo virgin cover, limited edition. Might be Vampirella, might be Red Sonia, we'll see. So we've had a really great night. I'm going to do a quick rundown for everybody new. Nice house on the lake. First print cover price for the regular cover. Uh, Victoria, you're welcome. It is our pleasure. Jem gives it the highest ranking, and it was his highest ranked book the week it came out. And yep. we have the regular cover, four bucks cover price, and this bad boy is going for fifteen to twenty bucks. Uh, the cardstock cover is ten bucks. And the one in 25 cover is $50. And we've sold a few complete sets. Yep. We also it's a great have, set. It's a fantastic set. DC Pride, $9.99. First print. Support cover our, price. Yep. Then the the mega set of the books of this week. Another great book, another pick of the week. Yep. Venom 200, J. Scott Campbell, 50 copy incentive. You would have to buy 50 copies to get this, spend $500 at retail. We're offering it for 50 bucks. Then you have the one in 500 jock. You would have to buy 500 of these and spend $5,000 at retail. And we're offering it for $500 instead of 5,000. <laughs> and you get the Stegman Virgin which you is a one in 100 you would have to buy a hundred of these spend a thousand dollars at retail but we have it for a hundred dollars you gotta love the uh winged venom yeah i mean these covers just rock and and look it's it's so cool for stegman to just have arguably the best cover we're gonna do something <laughs> different 
just real quick, I'm going to mention a few sellouts. We already sold at, well, we only had one, but we sold out of the Rorschach. Um, that was really cool, Ronald. Uh, we sold the Strange Tales 178, which is from Jim Starlin's personal file copy. We still have 179 with the first appearance of Pip the Troll. Um, we're practically sold out of the Iron Man number 9 DF cover, plus nine random books for nine bucks. And I think we need to make our way to... What do you think? Should we do the Spider-Man, the FF? What do you want to do next, Jim? I, I think we need to do a little FF because I think uh, we have a couple of mo couple more FF Silver Age books compared to Spider-Man, right? Yep, we do. Yeah. Uh, let's start with Reverse Order. Okay. Yeah this was this was a clean book, man. I, I really like this one. I, I saw the the scan. It's hard to see uh, the condition on the on the screen. Have you guys graded these? Have you given it like an approximation? We have not. We, uh, I mean, let me rephrase it to um, this. I should have done the, I should have written it down. I would say this is probably a very good plus. What's that like? A 7.0? It's it's high grade. It, and that book has always been tough because right on the spine, you have those bricks, and it's always hard to kind of. Uh, see, is, is that a spine tick or is that the art? But yeah, that was a super clean book, yeah. man. Like I said, I, you know, you had the scans. I think you showed them. Uh, you showed the scan on the email blast that went out, right? We did, we did. Yeah. So this one is how much? Which one is it? Uh, yeah. Number first, forty-five. First 45. appearance of the Inhumans. Five hundred. All right, it's five hundred. But what we're gonna do tonight, since it's issue forty-five, we'll just do a multiple of ten, so it'll be four hundred and fifty dollars. For 45. Victoria, thank you. 4.0 is very good. So very good plus. So I guess maybe 5.0, 5.5. .5. It, so it's it's, a, it's a good mid-grade copy for sure. It's a good mid-grade copy. Yeah, it's nice. It's clean. The pages are pretty white. So next week I'll be more prepared when I bring more Silver Age. <laughs> um, Nick, uh, Nick, uh, Nick obviously goofed. Nick goofed. <laughs> You know what? This is why bringing in the graded ones are, are the better way to go. So we've got a few graded books. Um, we've got FF number eight. This one, yeah, this one's got, you can see on the spine. I mean, it's a really hard to get book, but. Give me really a single, good. it's a single digit Fantastic Four. Single digit FF. What's the price on this, Rex? The number eight is 450. All right, four fifty. You gotta love the puppet master showing up, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could show it uh, horizontally. Try to show the spine, maybe like. Well, so we got to be careful, but this will give you a better feel. It looks way better out of the bag. Yeah. Now the thing is, is it does have a chip at the bottom. That looks like a lower grade. It's probably like what the three O range or so. Yeah, that that looks about right. Again, just a an observation from looking how you guys see it. All right, so pages we got forty five eight. Yeah, pages are more yellow on this, but it's just it's just a really great book, though. You know, first Puppet Master. I mean, I remember FF number four that came out a few years ago that had Adam Hughes and Mark Buckingham art with the thing talking to the Puppet Master as he's getting ready to marry Alicia. That was a really, really cool comic, you know? 60 years in the making, so to speak, right? Yeah, right. I got to be more prepped on the grade in the future. Rex will make sure I don't screw up again. <laughs> Now, this is one of my personal favorites. This is FF number nine, second Silver Age appearance of the Submariner. Is it is it nine or ten? Nine. Okay. Maybe the well, sheet. Ten has – we have ten coming up with Dr. Doom. Oh, that's what it was. I see nine here. Okay. Yeah. So, again, a little bit of rust and discoloration in the top left. Uh, low grade is better than no grade. Thank you, Victoria. I I agree. What's the price on this? Four fifty. And this is four fifty as well. 
Silver Age Fantastic Four. It, it, and it's, they, they've been undervalued, but now due to the uh, the merger, the Disney acquisition, right? So uh, they've been on fire. Fantastic Four Silver Age keys have been super hot. And this is definitely, you know, if you, if outside of FF number four with the first Silver Age Submariner, getting a second appearance does not stink. Right. It does not. Um, and then we will show FF number 10. Second appearance of Dr. Doom. You gotta love when you got the Jack and the Stan. Now, this one's definitely a lower grade. You could see it. What's going on, Black Box Comics? Hey, man. There you go. Classic. And you got the evil Mr. Fantastic. So what was that? Ten. Number 10. Yeah. What's the price point? 450. 450. So all generally the same price. The 48, uh, 45, I mean, that was 500, but we brought yeah. it down to 450 as well to match up. And then this one should really excite people. So I mentioned this is the first appearance of Norman Osborn. Now, how much is this? This 600. Is Tell you what, for tonight, for this show, and this is, I like this copy. I really like this copy. For this show, instead of 600, we'll do it 500. So, Spider-Man 23 check out pretty nice copy the goblin and the gangsters yeah so this is like the third appearance of the green goblin because he appeared in what 14 uh, 14 18 or 19 and then 23 so the key to this the key to this issue is right here on this page, I want to be really careful. Give me yeah, one. because Norman has such such so much more potential than the Green Goblin would have in the MCU. You know. Yep, and so you see at the bottom, like right there, not Peter Parker holding the costume, but right there where J. Jonah Jameson's talking, the guy right, right. next to him, that's Norman Osborn. Right there, the guy walking off panel. That's Norman Osborn. What's up, so, Bob Lane? This is the first appearance of Norman Osborn. And trust me, what all right, Miss Christine 94 is taking the Spider-Man. And I don't know if you saw this, Miss Christine, but we are dropping this instead of six hundred dollars, it's going to be five hundred dollars. So uh this is a great buy as far as Silver Age is concerned. Yeah. This is an undervalued book. See, this is what happened. You know, there's that rumor. There was that one longstanding rumor that uh, that Ditko left Spider-Man because he didn't want the Green Goblin to be somebody Peter Parker knew, right? <laughs> he wanted it to be somebody new. That's been a rumor for decades. Yeah. But Ditko did one of those rare interviews where he said, no, we knew who was going to be Green Goblin from the get-go. I started putting him in the comics in Spidey 23. You know what I'll do, Jim? I'll tell you what. The, Miss Christine, no, thank you. Uh, this is what we're going to do, Jim. And I think this is going to be the big thing. <laughs> Next time you come on the air, not only will I show the two pages that I got so excited that I ripped, which is <laughs> which is something to explain to the fans about what not to do. Right. I actually own the original art with the first appearance of Norman Osborn. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Steve Ditko, original art. So hold on, you're talking about the panel you just showed you just showed us? You own that the original page. art page? I own the whole page. That's insane, man. Yeah, no, trust me. That was wow. a one, yeah, that was a once in a lifetime. I'm telling you, when people start talking about the first appearance of Norman Ros Osborn, you know, now with everybody who's educated on YouTube beyond reading it in the Overstreet Price Guide or online or CGC boards, when you guys start talking about first appearance of Norman Osborn, that book's going to be heating up. It's oh yeah. It's, 
this is going to be the Hulk 180 that eventually shoots up in price. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, ASM-14 has always been a big key issue. But like I said, Norman Osborn has so much more potential than just being Green Goblin. Like when he he's a major player as like an earthbound big bad. And who else can they really tap into for the MCU in the future? I mean, you have Doctor Doom, you have Norman Osborn. I mean, those are the only two like Thanos level villains that they can really have, right? So, I mean, for for the Earth uh, bound stories at least. So, there's a lot of potential for that book, man. And that's crazy to only you got to show us the original art of that one day. Next time you come on the air, hopefully you'll come back one day next month, yeah. and we will show it. We'll show the ripped art, what not to do, and we'll show the other art, what what to do. Appreciate yeah, it. Don't the, the example of don't do this at home. Exactly. I'm going to show Crazy. this in case Miss Christine didn't see it. This yeah. is Warlock 179, signed by Jim Starlin. This is his personal file copy. Comes with a certificate of authenticity from Jim's rep. This is the first Pip the Troll. We had 178, but it sold. So, um, Nick, you should be proud. I was at the Dynamite Creator page. Jack Kirby, Frank Miller, Alex Ross. Yeah, we've been very fortunate, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. We've been very fortunate. We get to work with so many. We've gotten to work with so many great creators. So, thank you very much. I, very kind of you. Reminder for everybody, I know I brought it up a few times, but I want everybody to remember they're being rewarded because of Jim Mint being here. Everyone is getting a Lucho Perillo promo card with Vampirella. It was only available with the Indiegogo campaign, and now you get it free, one per customer. We have sold through a lot of cool items. Yeah. Um, you know, I think we should focus on the champions. What do we got these at, Rex? Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Well, champions number one, uh, exclusive variant covers by uh, John Cassidy is retail of twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, right. Um, and then the Dynamic Forces exclusive black and white variant is thirty nine ninety. All right, so this is $29.99 and $39.99. This is what I'm going to do. Champions number one is heating up. We're selling these off the website very, very briskly. What's the year the Champions first came out? You knew this was coming. Yeah. <laughs> he knew it was coming. He saw us to look on his phone. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to offer these tonight. It's $29.99 for the color, $39.99 for the black and white. This is John Cassidy, DF exclusive cover. Each copy comes with a certificate of authenticity, DF hollow foil seal. This is going to be 19. Hold on. That one didn't come up as easily. You got to put Marvel's the champions. All right, listen, this is going to be under 20 bucks. All right, $29.99, $39.99. They'll be under 20 bucks each, whatever year the champions first appeared. So these are the DF limited edition covers. The book is heating up. There's a lot of action going on right now. And you're able to get these at a great introductory price. Is it 1975? Am I right on yep. that? Yep. Yep. 1975. 1975. Yeah. Jen was the, 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 the brass ring. I was quick on the draw, quicker on the draw with that one. I know. It's all these little buttons on my phone. <laughs> so we've got these i mean look this is a great story and you've got hulk miss marvel nova spider-man cyclops and the vision so nick well, what was this was this a reprint that you guys did an exclusive cover for is that what it is nope this is from 2016 okay so that's a new volume but okay okay i got you yeah it's the marvel series that launched 2016. One thing I should show, most memorabilia, sports memorabilia, movie, TV, music memorabilia, coins, you're never supposed to open it. The DF limited edition covers or the signed books, we want everybody to read them. We paid extra to be able to allow you to open up the comic to read it. This hollow foil seal, we paid extra for the special adhesive, I always recommend put the hollow foil seal to the side, take the comic out to read it. So 
This is the Mark Wade series with Humberto Ramos art that okay. came out in 2016, I think. Yeah, I think that's what you said. Yeah. So I'm not familiar with that run, but Humberto Ramos, crazy talented artist. Yep. So keep in mind, like I said, this is a $29.99 book. And the and and the covers are by John Cassidy. It's kind of funny, Paige. It's cool. We're doing it at 1975, the year the champions original comic with Iceman, with um, with uh, Black Widow, Hercules first appeared. So DF limited edition John Cassidy covers. You're getting, and again, you get to put the hollow foil seal back to protect the comic with the certificate of authenticity. But I really do want you, you to go. read this. Mark Wade is just a brilliant, brilliant writer. Humberto Ramos is one of the best artists in the industry. And you get these bad boys, 1975 each. And I tell you what, because I know Ronald gets excited when I do this, limit one per customer. If you want both, $29.99. Basically, if you want both, the price of the colored cover. So, champions number mm -hmm. one, man. This is a cool one. And if you're watching this later, if you didn't catch it live, same thing. Limit one per customer. We cannot uh, afford to do it more than one per customer. And, you know, as Victoria and Ronald pointed out, we're a little bit behind on billing everybody. Don't worry. We will pull your orders, put them aside. Uh, we will get to billing you this week. We've just been getting a lot of orders after the fact as people watch the shows later. It is Saturday night, but I really appreciate the people that are watching us live right now. Um, Wait, what did you just sell these boats for? $29.99. Okay, I'm just making sure. But <laughs> I thought you said $39.99. No, $39.99 is the black and white. The color is $29.99. These are nineteen seventy five each, but if a, any of our fans want to buy both, you got them twenty nine ninety nine for the pair. I honestly think we're good for tonight. Um, we didn't get to everything; we got close to everything. But you know what? We didn't get it to it tonight. We will get to these next week. I just want to show real quick: Captain Marvel Adventures number one, seven point five from nineteen forty. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy. It's let's read the CGC thing. It says it does have a little bit of restoration color touch up. Um, there was it was cleaned and reinforced. What year is that from? 1940. Wow. So we will bring this back next week. And Batman 141 CGC graded 8.5. Um, what do we got this price at? We'll mention the price. We got one minute left. Yeah, you got this one priced at a thousand. All right, so Thank this you, is a Jim. this is <laughs> at a thousand. If anybody wants to buy it tonight, since it's an eight point five, eight hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> tonight only. This though, I am telling you right now, you have to be watching it now. So you only have one minute to get it at eight hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I am not letting this one run into the overtime. Uh, okay. Our surprise of the night, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that Ronald is a regular Dynamite, Dynamic Forces fan. We got Dave, who's a Gem Mint fan. Those are our two baller guys of the night, although I do got to give Miss Christine a little bit of credit. So we are going to give the three of them each, not only, the Lucho Perilla limited edition card, all three will get a Vampirilla or Red Sonia Lucho Perillo virgin cover worth 50 bucks. There you go, three-way tie. All three of you. You guys are all – first of all, everybody, thank you so much for bringing us into your home. You guys are all stars. You guys are fantastic. Stay tuned for more on the experience. Tomorrow night we've got Fat Jack's Comic Crypt at 6.00. We've got a comic shop at 8. Rex will be back on Wednesday with John to give you a break from my big mouth. And special thanks to Jem and all the Geminites for being here. 
thank you so much. We love you guys. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks.